Today, I thought we'd make some tassels. I've been thinking about my boho journal a lot, and tassels are an item that can be used in boho journals very effectively because that, that's part of the boho feel is tassels. I'll tell you about these in just a little bit, but let's, let me show you how I made two at a time. This is some crochet thread, and I think it's polyester because it's very slippery. Wait, let me show you what I've done. This is just a pack of cards. It's still in the box, and this paper is a little bit slippery so it's perfect to put this on because when I'm ready to take it off the off this I can just slide it off and what I've done already is I put a piece of this same thread I taped it down with washi tape across each end and that's going to be the part that I tie the center of the tassel with and so I'm going to wrap around end to end on this this thread will be underneath what I'm wrapping so I'm just going to put this to be able to hold on to it easily. Then you just go around however many times you want to do. I think I did 20 or 25 on some of these, and I'm not counting, so <laughs> maybe I better count while I'm doing this. I'll just um, do it fast, and then we'll come back. That's seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, that's 27, more or less. So I'm just going to cut this off here. So I just take this off one end at a time. Take the tape off. I can get it off. And then tie these threads together with this string. And what I like to do, I want to kind of make it even so I have that to work with later. I like to make, a, I think this may be called a surgeon's knot where you, you go twice through the loop, and it may need to be even more with this thread because it is kind of slippery. And then you go back the other way, right over left, and then left over right. And pull that down real tight there. And then do the same thing on the opposite end. Take that off. Okay, I don't know if you can see what I'm doing, but it's kind of hard to show with it not sitting up straight. I'll push it up further so maybe you can see better. I'm just putting left over right and going around once and going around twice. And then pulling it down as tight as I can there. And then I'm going to try to hold it with my thumb while I go the other way. And wrap it twice again. It just makes a more secure knot there. Okay, there we go. Then we can just slide this off like that and I'm just going to kind of straighten this out. And then I'm going to take my scissors and pull these two down even. It's a little bit fiddly, but once you get your scissors through the center there where you can cut it, you can pull it tight and make it flat where it's even. And you just cut it. And then that is, you have the threads there. So the next thing you want to do, this part you have to do individually on it. <laughs> Obviously you can't, unless you are very talented. Um, I'm going to use this thread again. This is, I don't know, it's just some thread from Walmart. It's metallic thread that I found at a thrift store and it was 75 cents. I thought that was a pretty good deal. And it's a, it's, it's more than one thread, so it's a little hard to put it through the needle. And I have discovered, this is probably a trick everybody else knows, but I didn't know it. If I use my X-Acto knife and I just put the thread right there on the, where the eye of the needle is and just kind of push it through there. Whoops. Maybe I better do it this way since I'm right-handed. Just kind of push it into that slot where the needle's eye is and you can pull it through then. That works with the big needle. I don't, big needle's eye, I don't know if it works for other needle eye. Needle's eye or not. 
can't talk today. Okay. So what you do is you just you you want this to pull down even, and you're going to trim the bottom eventually anyway. Tie the long end around the tassel. And you want to adjust it so that it's even. This thread is kind of slippery, so it's a little bit more difficult. But you do that and tie the knot like that. And then I'm going to cut that off short so I can hide it behind where I wrap this around. And at times you may want to add a little bit of glue here and there just to make it all secure. But you just go around. That's that piece that was extra there. Just go around this a few times, however wide you want it to be. I think that's pretty good. And then what I did on this one is I just did what I call a, a blanket stitch. I think it can also be called a buttonhole stitch. But I'll show you how to do that. And it just made a nice, let me pull this up, get it under the camera. I hope that's close where you can see it. I'll put a picture in. What you do to do this is you go down behind here, behind the threads, and come out at the bottom. But you want this this thread to be under your needle, like that, and then you pull that tight. And then you just move around. You don't want to get these two in there. You just hold this part down with your thumb. Just go under there. And I kind of try to avoid piercing th these threads with the needle because that will, it may make it wonky, it may pull the thread uneven. It's a little bit harder to do with this thread, but of course I chose the hardest one to demonstrate with, wouldn't it? Isn't that the way it goes? I just thought this thread was a pretty color and I kind of wanted to see how it looked with the gold with it. And you can put these right up against each other or you can spread them apart. I kind of liked it spread apart a little bit. I tried to make it pretty even. Um, doesn't have to be exactly even. I was saying this is for my boho journal, but there are other ways to use the tassels that um, it doesn't have to be a boho theme. It can be just a little addition to a journal and be a cute, cute thing to have in it. I've got some examples I'll show you in a little bit. This thread, this gold thread, is hard to pull through because it's, it's kind of coarse. It, it kind of catches when you're trying to pull it through is what I'm trying to say. Okay. And, you know, it may not be perfect when you get done with it. Mine probably are not. And there are other ways you can, can do this. You could just tie the string around there. And um, this, that same string, just tie some of it around. And then just let it fall down and be part of the tassel. And if you wanted to put something around the top of it, then after that you could just put a piece of braid or some trim of some kind there. Or wrap, wrap the cord around it like I did. And just have it as the same thread there. Okay, I think I can do one more and then we can tie this off. I have a book that I found at our thrift store. I think it was at Salvation Army. It's a hardback book, so I think I paid a dollar for it. I think that's what they charge for the hardbacks. And it's about tassels. It gives the history of tassels, which is kind of interesting. And it also has some pages talking about how you can make them and different things you can do with them. And I checked on Google, and the book is still available if you are interested in 
um, looking into buying it, it was at Thrift Books. It was less than six dollars. That well, that's the price they posted. I don't know how much it would be once you uh, pay the tax on it. But still, it was a twenty-eight dollar book. I think when it was new, and it's from nineteen ninety-two. And I'm just pulling that back up through there, and I'm going to cut it off right there at the. Use my little scissors that have the sharp point so I don't get into too much. Right there. So that is that is how I made that tassel. And then you just you do the same thing to the other one. Now see how that's kind of long there. So some of these have pulled up. Maybe that one's kind of short. So you can adjust a little bit if you feel like it or not. If you feel like you might make it not do right. We'll just trim off the ends and make it even. And what you can do is turn it a different way and and just trim again so that you have a better chance of getting them all at the same length. And it doesn't necessarily have to all be the same length. I've seen tassels where they look like they have an asymmetrical haircut. <laughs> okay, that looks pretty good. If it doesn't look good, we can come back to it later. Get rid of my fuzzy mess here. So that is how I made that tassel. And I think that I think that's cute. Personally, I think it's cute if I do say so myself. I'll finish the other one later. You saw how I did it, so I won't um, do that again right now. I think I did these two the same way. To begin with, I was wrapping around this way to make a short tassel, and I thought, hmm, maybe I could go the other way and have two, wrap two at a time. It makes a match because they have the same number of wraps on them. And basically, if you cut it right in the middle, you'll have a tassel you can these are slightly different i think this one's a little bit longer but you could trim it off and make them make them the same length so this cord is um this is some cotton cord that i bought it's just string i guess and i can't remember what it's called and i can't remember where i bought it but i bought it to, as a weaving project i made my great nephew a, a baby blanket when he was born and i bought several colors i had another I had two greens and these two blues and a purple and a black so I have a lot of it left over because I didn't know how much I was going to need and I didn't want to run out so I have lots of options there this is crochet cotton which is a little bit thicker than some of it some of it's very thin and I made this tassel from it yeah, that's the one I made from it and I thought it turned out kind of cute and I this one I just used that same cord to to make the band i think they call that this is called the head up here and this is called the neck and then this is the skirt i learned that from the book so that is those and then this one was the first one i made which i wrapped the other way and i made this this cord and slid it through i tied it in there and then tucked that back down in the bottom it was kind of complicated, but anyway, and then I went around that again. So I was hoping I could put a bead over that, but I didn't have any that had big enough holes to, to go over that spot. But you could wrap it with some gold or something else. And then this is bamboo and cotton yarn. It's very soft. I don't know how well it would hold up, but I thought it looked pretty with the gold on it. So that is some ideas there. And let me show you real quick how I made this cord. This is the same as this, basically. I did the length that was suggested in the book. Let me show you the book. It's This book is called Tassels, The Fanciful Embellishment. It's by Nancy Welsh. And it has, um, it was $26.95. It has these instructions in the middle here. Um starting their creating tassels this part is all history and various ways that tassels have been used which was interesting but there's a good bit of in instruction here about how to do things and i found it to be interesting and helpful various 
things about pom-poms and toys and other ways you can use tassels. And um, This is talking about how to, to twist the cord. And you can have this, I have one of these gizmos that you can twist it with that. But I, you can also do it by hand, which I'm going to show you how to do that. Um, and you can do it with a mixer or <laughs> something that will twist the cord. So it tells you how to do that also. Let me set this aside and I will show you how I twisted this cord. She said six lengths of what you want your end. Like if I wanted this to be, what is this, 15 inches? So six times 15, which is whatever it is. I just do it this way. I'm, I'm going to make this one shorter so I can get it in the camera to, to, uh, to show you how to do it. Okay, I got six. Okay. Tied the ends together like this. And to twist it on your fingers, you put your fingers, either hold this one or you put your fingers through it. I'll just hold it this time. And this is still pretty long. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to show you too well, but you, you just twist, twist the cord. I have it over my index finger and I'm just going around and around and you twist it until it gets where it you put slack in it it starts twisting up on itself I'm not there yet obviously and what she was saying about with the mixer you would attach one end you would hold one end and attach the other end to one of the beaters or something and just turn it on for a second or so and it just or a drill would work too I guess but it doesn't take too long to do this. Let's see if that's see it started curling up on itself. So that's pretty good. I'm gonna go just a little bit more. And what you need to do is either have somebody to help you or as she suggested, use your teeth. That's what I'm gonna do. So I hope that doesn't gross anybody out. Okay, so you just you bring the ends together and then you just release it and it will twist up. Like that and make a twisted cord. So then you tie this end where you have the two two ends tied off so that it doesn't come undone. And then you can tie a tassel on each end of this cord. For instance, this is the same. Attach it there and attach one here. And then you could hang it on the spine of your journal if you wanted to do that. But probably would need to plan in advance of how you were going to attach this to it. You could tie it through this end. And just open that up and tie it through there. Or you could use a jump ring or something like that to attach it to your cord. And then just attach that through a, an eyelet hole in the, in the spine if you wanted to do that. Let me just grab a journal here. I'll show you some ideas. I decided to use my Yellow Rose of Texas journal today for demonstration purposes. We talked about putting it on a spine, attach it here for instance and having it hang down. I don't have one that's there but we'll, we'll say this one. Say you want to just attach a single tassel on your on the spine like that. I have some journals that have a really big tassel on the on the spine. If you wanted to use inside your journal say um, for instance, this is a tag, and instead of having this, this little grouping of threads and a little rickrack, you could just tie your tassel through there and have it hang down. I think that would be cute, and if, if you wanted to, you could have it where it could come out the top of the, tie it so it's long enough to come out the top of the, of the book and hang over the edge, that, in the front or in the back or just over the side. So that's one, one idea there. You could attach it to the side of a, of a page, um, like with a paper clip even. Here, for instance, you could um, attach it to that and have it coming out the side of your book like that. I think that would be cute also. Another thing you could do is put a brad on your page or on a flip. Let's, 
Well, there's a hole. I mean, you could just tie it through the hole. I had, that was a hole in the paper, and so I had um, I just put that ribbon in that netting there. But you could run the, the uh, threads through here and tie it and have it there on the page like that. I think this bread's probably too big for this. Well, it might stay on there. I don't know. Or a button. You could use a button as well. And then you could tie this around. Or just wrap it around there. And then tie it. And it can hang inside the book. It adds a little bit of bulk there. But this journal is already pretty bulky. Or you could have it where it comes out the side, like I said. You could also do that same thing like on a flip of, of some kind that you wanted to add some interest to. A flip up. That would be cute to have it on that on that lace. That's a flip up. So you could just attach it where it's just hanging out the edge there. You could tie it on, sew it on, or put a button there to wrap it around tight too. That would be cute also. And then it would be hanging out the bottom. It depends on how much stuff you want to hang it off your journal. You may not like that idea. If you wanted it for a closure on your book, you could either put a button here or a, one of these jean closures that it has a like a thumbtack thing or a, I guess that's close enough, and then this button and you just hammer it together and attach it. Put the, the sharp end through this side and then you have the button part on this side. Then to use a tassel as a closure, you would need to have, probably need to have a cord that goes to the back, like this kind of cord from the back. And you could attach that with an eyelet at the back, just um, through an eyelet. And if you planned ahead, you could twist the cord through the eyelet so that you have it permanently attached there. And then bring it to the front, it need to be shorter than this one, maybe this one. And just wrap it around the closure, or you could have it where you have a loop there to put around the closure. Like put the closure, tie this to the cord, and then have a loop where you put the, the button through it. So that's another option. Lots of bookmarks come with tassels attached to them, so you could make your own bookmarks with tassels, and about that size would be cute on one. Also, you could use it as a zipper pull. In this little journal, this was my junk journal January, I put a zipper on this page and made a pocket there. It would be cute to just tie the tassel to the zipper pull and you, maybe you want it all the way up like that. So that you can pull that to pull the, the zipper down, except it doesn't work. <laughs> Decorative only, I guess. This was, this was one of those cards I made the other day. I put a label here and punched the hole in it, and I said I, you could hang a charm or something there. Well, you could also tie a tassel to it. This would be for a pocket, and it would need to go on a page on the left side here, like this, where, where that tab is sticking out. And you probably want to decorate that up some. It would be hanging from the, the pocket tab outside like that. This was a tag example. With, this is vintage wallpaper, and I made the reinforcement out of that. You could put a tassel through there, too. It would be cute just to dress it up. Like that. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this and got some ideas for your journals. And let me know what you think you would use a, a tassel on. I hope to see you next time. Till then, bye-bye.